All right, this morning we are welcoming back Dr. Sam Shatkin from the Aesthetics Associate Center, talking about something that may be bothering you. Doc, we're gonna be talking about the fact that I bet you a lot of people say I'm not happy with the way my face looks, but in many cases, it's just the eyes that need attention. Well, the eyes have it. The eyes have it, in always. Fact, in fact, eyelid rejuvenation we've been doing for decades, as you know, Linda, and uh, some of the newer techniques that I want to introduce today uh, will give you a, a, another option, uh, maybe without the need for surgery, to rejuvenate the eyes. And I also want to give a shout out to my family that are home for the holidays as well, so I know hopefully they're listening and watching the show. <laughs> I hope so. I hope yeah. so. All right. The surgery is called blepharoplasty, right. if that's the way you want to go. Right, yeah. Eye lift or blepharoplasty is a procedure that we do. And the nice thing about that is it's one of my favorite procedures because it's a short procedure. We can do the upper eyelids or lower eyelids in about an hour to uh, two hours. Um, but let's go right to this clip here because okay. this actually shows the non-surgical rejuvenation. This. So this is actually a, a technique that uh, we developed where we put a small little needle in there, tiny little needle. You can see the patient's not flinching at all. Uh -huh. We developed this little hole. So uh, those of you that might be a little squeamish, you might want to not look completely. But then I take that out and I put an even smaller cannula, which carries the filler product. And you, you can see we're cannulating that tiny little hole that we just made. And yeah, she yeah, feels- Yeah, now we're not worried feels, about her eyelids. We're worrying more about the back, the, 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 the line the, under the her The hollow eye. underneath the eyelid, right. exactly. So that's what we're working on now. And you'll see, I'll just do a little injection. And right after we're done with this technique, I've got a side-by-side -side photo where you can actually see the benefit. And this whole procedure, oh. here you go. This benefit, uh, this procedure only took about maybe a minute or so to do each side. And you can see on the picture on the right that that hollow, that darkness is yeah. much, much better. Yeah. And uh, we've done um, a lot of these patients. We can really rejuvenate them with these under eye hollows and uh, make a dramatic difference. So this is the newer technique that we do. You know, I always like to introduce new things here. Mm -hmm. And this is the uh, non-surgical method that we can use to help rejuvenate. Well, how long will that last? Uh, well, the fillers, uh, you know, generally fillers on the face last anywhere from six to 12 months. But interestingly, when we're doing it around the eyes, it tends to last longer. Mm -hmm. uh, for some reason, it just has a different metabolism there. And we might get a year or more out of that area. And uh, the patient patients are so happy. You know, that is because, you know, you can't help that area. It's a very thin, the skin there, Skin's you know, very thin, and, right. and as you get older, it just seems like it really bothers you because a concealer just doesn't do it. You right. know what I mean? You always have that, that dark spot. And this is now a way that you really can get, uh, can get rid yeah. of it. Well, well, you have no wrinkles, Linda, but you know, well, when, when yeah. individuals have a lot of lights around them, light coming from all directions, you don't see the shadows. But when it comes right from above, right. that's where you see the shadow underneath the eye. And that's where you can get into those uh, areas of the, the, the puffiness and yeah. the bags. And for those individuals that have not only the shadow, but extra fat, uh -huh. then we might do a surgical procedure, like you mentioned before, Linda, the mm -hmm. blepharoplasty. We're actually physically taking that fat pocket out to reduce the uh, the uh, fullness there. All right, let's see some more pictures. Yeah, we've got a couple pictures so of the blepharoplasty. Now, these are provided by the American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Uh, these, uh, you can see the upper eyelids we're treated in this patient. Yes. I uh, got a nice improvement, that he a less heavy look, more youthful look, yes. more open. Mm -hmm. Eyes are more open. And then the next picture shows another example. And if you can see that upper eyelid, it really makes a dramatic change in the way that is. And what's interesting is some of these patients are actually covered by insurance. Oh, wow. Because if they got yes. visual field blockage, which right. the optometrist can check, it'll do that. And, and we do men as well. I yeah, mean, here's a perfect example. Lower. Wow. lower eyelids on this gentleman, that puffiness can be really softened. Uh, a lot of men come in now with that tired look and they don't like to feel that way. And a lot of them are just the, their friend, friend interaction they're not happy with, but also some people want to look refreshed mm -hmm. in the workplace. Wow. You know, if they're executives and they want to look better in the workplace, they might want to have that procedure. And that uh, excess skin on the upper eyelid, that can be genetic. That just might be something that runs in your well, family. Well, you know, we always want to blame our parents for yes, stuff. Yes, we do. You know? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the truth is that uh, it is genetic. It also environmental. If, right. we're, if we're squinting a lot and we use Botox to help reduce that, uh, a lot of patients have that very heavy brow where mm -hmm. it just pulls down the skin there, and if we relax those muscles there, which we also use for Botox, that'll also rejuvenate the eyes by holding them up. And uh, I've had Botox, and I, I love the effect of it because it just opens up my eyes and relaxes them. So these are the three main areas that we'll use to rejuvenate the eyes, and uh, I'm hoping that people will get the message and they can come in and see us. And of course, you know, you're the expert. When you when you come on in, Doc will be able to talk to you and let you know which method might be the most uh, beneficial for you. Well, that's the advantage that we have at our office because we do surgical and non-surgical. Right. Many offices that only do injectables or Botox, they're not gonna be able to offer that. And if I have a patient that mm -hmm. needs more, if they really need to have something surgical, we can offer that for them as well. That's fantastic. All right, so you know what? It may not be as big a deal as you think, not over the Aesthetic Associates. 
and uh, it makes a tremendous difference. The Aesthetic Associate Center right there on Kensington Avenue in Buffalo. Give them a call at 839-1700. Uh, and don't forget Trey R.A. Spa. What a great place to go to when you're done. They're kind of right down the street at 5195 Main Street in Williamsville. You can call them for a lovely spring massage or a facial. Or you can uh, find out about both centers by going to greatlook.com. G-R-8-look.com.